need a wooden block and you're gonna set it on top of the ring because you don't want to dent these right it would be hard for you to do mainly happens with the metal hammers but just to make sure that they we don't bend them because it's important because this is a known volume we're gonna measure the height right and the width and everything we're gonna calculate the volume and so it's really important when you take these samples that it's flat here and flat here like perfectly even with the top and I generally like to do that in the lab out here I'll kind of take it and make and have like just sort of like a little hump of soil just to make sure because if you have a chunk that falls out, you've messed up the volume in here, right? So it's not the same. And what you're going to do, this can be difficult because as you can see, it's really sandy and right now it's kind of dry. Which we should have brought water out here to wet it up. But So you're going to take it, you're going to move the mulch out of the way because we just want to get the soil. Right? Then you're going to set this on top and you're going to hammer it in. Right. And the tricky part to this is we're already disturbing the structure of the soil just by hammering this in. But you want to make sure that we keep the soil in as natural structure as it has out here as possible. So once it gets close to the dirt, you don't want to just stick this on here and have the dirt come up and start packing the dirt into the soil. Right. Because then that's not representative of how the soil is laid out here. So you just kind of have to be careful, pay attention when you get down close, right? And if you have to, you can kind of do that. Or to try and get it down there as low as you can, right? Then the fun part is digging it out. We have are the knives in here. They're in the yeah. Yeah. We have knives. You guys can use the knives only for digging out samples. Okay. Or you can use the little shovels and dig them out, dig around. But you don't want to disturb the soil too much. You can sort of go up under it. always the trickiest part because once you get under there you just pull it out like this right all your soil is going to come out the bottom Ken is super good at this he's just like right and shoots under there but I'm not that strong So one of the things that's different about the bioretention area too is it's fill material. It's not like natural soil, so there's no structure there. There's no bigger clods. Basically what they did was they piled up several different piles of sort of a sand and a clay and some other stuff that they mixed in with it. And they mixed it with a bobcat just by flipping it over and over and then they brought it in here and dumped it in. So that's one reason that the soil in here won't stay in the rings quite as easily. Yeah, it's like a flood plain. Basically, it's just like yeah. sediment that was just brought here. So we had, we came out here earlier to see how to, and try to take samples. And so what you're gonna want to do is, I actually take my hand and scoop way underneath the ring, like that, just to make sure that I have below the level of the ring. Then you're gonna grab cheesecloth. Right, which is in here. You'd open it, your partner rips scissors in there and you can cut out like a long, long piece if you've got like that much. That way, you know, you can lay it on top, flip it over, you know, and you can kind of clean this up. But in the lab, we'll take the knives and just lightly kind of, you know, get it down to where it's level. Then you just wrap the cheesecloth around and we have rubber bands. And I would rubber band it, you know, a good X, keep that cheesecloth there. And then you guys don't want to disturb it too much after this. Just set it right in there. But see if you, if you were to hold it like this, see how it just starts falling out. 
and then you've messed up the volume, right? So that's how you guys are gonna take your samples. If you do drop soil like that, just empty it, do it again, move over, you know, one step, do it again in a new spot. But so you're gonna do three of these, right? And then you're all gonna take in your little Ziploc bags, just a little bit of dirt. Total, we're gonna need, what, two? Needs to equal around like two yeah. big, like two as full if bags. two of these were full. So I figured if each group took, you know, of soil, just loose soil, throw it in here, and then in the end, we'll just combine everybody's sample, and we'll use that for a later lab. Up. Yeah. So what you're gonna want to do, right, is you're gonna be really, really, really careful. But you want to make sure that you have a flat top or both sides. And so if you have, sorry. Okay. See this, you can actually probably spread out within the ring and fill this hump over here, right? But if you have a huge hump, I just like to shave the top off, you know, like and you lay the knife flat against this and that's where you wanna level this out. So you're just gonna kinda of move the dirt around, get over here where you had some holes, right? And like yours, you guys had a big, you know, huge little humps, you would just, you know, do that right with the knife so you just want to do it really lightly because you don't want to accidentally flick a chunk out because you know temper kind of screwed. right but you want to get it perfectly flat all the way across now now you got to watch it see how I have like kind of a bigger piece moving right there so that you want to watch because that I could have flicked out on accident so that's why you want to kind of do it slow sometimes you get like little rocks that right okay see so now this is perfectly right so this soil volume is going to equal the volume of the ring now and then you're going to want to wrap the cheesecloth back right put your hand here because you don't want anything to fall out at this point at all flip it over and do the same thing to the other side right